come in the helm of Nitsa. It gives really good defense bonus plus strength bonus. A strength skill cape because it gives some uh, some defense bonus. Uh, bar gloves give really good attack, defense, and strength bonus. I really recommend rune gloves, rune gloves or above. Or if you can take, if you don't have comp bracelet or myth addy, and you know. Uh, fighter torso gives decent defense bonus, decent attack, and good strength bonus. Works pretty well. Dragon boots give some defense and strength bonus that really help you there. Amulet of Fury gives, I think, attack, yeah, defense, strength bonus. Helps a lot. Rune defender gives strength, defense, and attack bonuses. A whip because I'm training my attack. Trying to train my attack to hopefully 99. And to use the flick, if you're training defense, take a whip also to train with deflect. And if you're training your strength, I really strongly recommend a Dragon Scimitar or a Zara's Word. I take, you gotta take a Zamorak or Zerodamin item. This is really important. So I decided to take Zamorak Plate Legs. Zamorak Plate Legs. Also, you can take a Berserker Ring or a Ring of Life because sometimes you might lag and a Ring of Life really might save your ass. So this is what to take. On, on your inventory, you could take a, a special weapon uh, with a good uh, weapon with a good special. I really rather uh, Dragon Battle Axe because Dragon Dagger really doesn't help that much there. And the uh, Dragon Battle Axe special boosts your strength and really helps you kill them faster. That's why I take Restore Potions, Noted and one Noted, because um, to uh, get my defense and attack to the normal levels and my strength boosted. One. And they're, they're really uh, cheap, I think. I paid for this for three like 15k. I take uh, cash to buy my on my noted food when I run out of my food here. Uh, and I take tuna because it's it's really cheap and it works it works too. I'll be showing you how to buy and like to buy your food again and how can you last there a lot. Well, uh, kind of later. Uh, restores the rate to UI and I fill my uh, inventory with more tuna. So uh, we're gonna meet there. I'll be I'll show you right now uh, where to um, where is it and yeah. Okay, guys, we're here in the Shantai Pass. Here you can bank and get your gear on here. So we're first going to take a carpet ride to the Bedouin camp located here the carpet is gonna take you and it just costs like I think um, I think it just costs like um, 200 GP that's why you take your cash too so it's here you're gonna travel with your carpet over here then you're gonna go walking south to the bandit camp this is this is uh, room one, ten two, and room three. This is can this can also be called room four. It's not used that much though, but yeah. So let's get over there. First, bribe the Shantai guard with your cash. Just bribe it for a hundred GP. You'll be here. Take your right arm. I think it's a weapon. What do you got in this arm? Kind of lag right now. I don't know. Then travel with the rock merchant. It will cost around 200 GP to the band of camp. The second option. Okay, to continue, 200 GP. And there we go. So let's get to the band of camp. So guys, we're here at the band of camp. Now we can go to south south to the bandit camp 
can put it away by now. Okay, so I got to the bandit camp. This went a little bit south. Now we're here. We gotta find a tent or a room. These are really uh, annoying part because it's really there's it's really like backed up right now, and so you gotta be like hopping around to find one. If you're higher level, it's really easier for you to keep your spot. Sometimes you got crashers. That's why I take my strength tape just like for people to, you know. So we're gonna find a world right now, and I'll meet you there when I find one. I think it'll it'll not take that much. Hopefully. Hey guys, I'm back, and I just found a spot. Just had to hop like twice. But yeah, we're here. This is uh, number one. As you can see, this one is empty too. I could go here too, but place. But I'll show you the spots right now. Look, for spot number one, this you you gotta step here exactly here. You can see the X my mouse here. You gotta stand here. See, see the flag there. For this one, you gotta stand here at the entrance, and for this one, where this noob is standing here, you can see the S and the flag. Now let me get these noobs inside. We're gonna get a pile right now, but just let them kill this one so we can enter the tent to them. Yeah, hey guys, bandits. It's really simple. Really, really simple. I mean, it's quick. There we go. Let me to get my stats back. Let's restore pile. You sometimes get pile on this one too because the bandit from here comes to attack so two something. Also, there's another way you can train on this tent the last one it's like the most expensive because you gotta pray well yeah it's recommended to pray because level 76 you can get piled there i remember that when i was like 80 combat i went to train there because i don't know i thought it was really good xp and it is but i went there like with lobsters and stuff and and when i got there i was like got piled and I just click the telling for that. Yeah. Because you really need prayer. You really need prayer. Oh, uh, yeah. So. Uh, guys. This guy is going to M21. So, um, yeah. This is really simple, guys. To train your attack, strength, range. This guy is going to train range right now. It's going to the other spot, but this in this body all something's get piled. Um, your range, your hit points, your hit you get you get good at hit points XP. I think I got yeah like 100k uh, hit points XP when I got 88 attack not long ago. And yeah, yeah. If you AFK a lot, and then you bring in tuna. Like if my hit points are 93, and I got 80 hit points. I eat a tuna to get to 90. I always save, so when I AFK, I can be high hit points. I have a lot of hit points. Also, I'll show you guys right now how to buy and sell your food. Let's see. I'm gonna. I need three tuna. Right now. Let's say um I run out of food. Okay. I ran out of food. Damn it. Let's say so. If you can, you can, you won't go to like Shanty Pass just to get another load of food. So you come here to a general store in the center, sell your three tuna, and buy them with the cash you got, you brought, and then you go back to your spot.